Well, the Thunder blew out the Bulls last night, but it was highlighted by a brawl between both teams. Russell Westbrook exchanged shoves with Chris Dunn in the second quarter, and that started a chaotic scene with more players that spilled into the first row of the seats. It's not even Christmas, and Russ has already gotten into it with multiple players this season. We're joined once again by Derek Fisher, who was a teammate he of was. Westbrook's in OKC. Mm -hmm. So, Derek... You're the person to ask, what is going on with Russ? Um, no, I think <laughs> Russ has been Russ in a lot of ways. I mean, I think he's always yeah. played on edge. Uh, so I'm not surprised that, you know, he's been himself in terms of that. Uh, he's got new twins in the house on mm. top of another. So <laughs> no sleep. No on. sleep. <laughs> so that, that's yeah. part of it. Right. But I think the, the other part is that I think Russell is going through a major transition at mm. this point in his career. Uh, in terms of fi still finding that balance between giving Paul George that room to do what he's doing and having the season he's having, Stephen Adams is blossoming, yeah. giving him room, mm -hmm. Dennis Schroeder is there mm -hmm. having mm -hmm. great, a great season so far. So Russell's starting to learn how to kind of pull back he is. and let other guys eat. And so there are going to be some nights where it just feels mm -hmm. a little awkward. And so now I have to do something else mm -hmm. to get myself into the game. So that might be being physical. That might be talking a little bit more trash mm -hmm. to make sure that he's still engaged at a certain level. Mm. So instead of taking 30 shots, he's now down to 16 or 17. Mm -hmm. He's taking less threes. His triple doubles are 16, 11, and 13. That is true. Not 35, yeah. Yeah, 14, right. and 11. And the Thunder are one of the best teams yeah. in the West. Yeah. So I'm not overly concerned that he's off the edge here. Yep. Um, I think he's just kind of going through some transition. Mm. Uh, I, I think he's all that might be true, but I think there's some frustration here going on too, Skip. Mm -hmm. Russ is shooting 24.8% from the three point line. He's shooting 62% now. Yes. Going into last season, he was an 82% career free it's throw. It's horrendous. It's horrendous. And yeah. he's averaging 20 points a game. That's his lowest since mm -hmm. the second season. Now, I understand we all are like, all I care about is winning. I want to win, but I need to get my numbers too. Yeah. Because I've shown that we can win, I can still get 30. 12 and 12. We can win that way too. We win it, but you know, look at how I'm shooting, look how I'm playing. And I think the frustration, because it's like Paul George is kind of moving on like, hey, I'm, I'm the best player over here. You know, Paul is ruffling his feathers. He's look, look like mm -hmm. he's a, because it's not easy playing in the West, Skip, because you got Braun and you got KD and you got mm -hmm. Harden and Steph Curry. Paul George, like, I was one of the better players in the East. Mm -hmm. I want to show that I'm one of the better players in the NBA, not just the Eastern Conference. Mm -hmm. So, and Anthony Davis, so you got to puff your chest out you do. and let everybody know that yeah. you've arrived. And so I think a, a, some of this, Skip, is frustration because he's shooting the ball so poorly. Mm -hmm. And we're not used to seeing Russ play this bad. Yeah, they're winning, but it's almost like they're winning in spite of him because he's shooting the ball so poorly. That is true. So... I'm not advocating fighting here, but I'm I'm pretty sure you went up against Russ in a whole lot of practices, right? Yeah, unfortunately. And, unfortunately. <laughs> and and I wonder what your take is on again, I don't I don't want to see fists thrown, but but would Russ back this up if it ever came to that? Is does he have that in him? He seems like he starts a lot of fights and then I look up and he's over laughing over on the sideline. <laughs> not starts fights, but but the shoving. shoving match, Jamal right? Murray the other yeah, night. They're pushing different. and shoving. It seems like every other night he's pushing and shoving <laughs> with somebody. So would he back it up ever? Would he? Yeah. Does he have it in him? No, nah, this is Russ. Okay. He would back it up if it came to it. All right. I, I need <laughs> to know that because I've never been sure about that because he plays on the edge. Mm -hmm. He's as physical a point guard as, I don't know, we've ever seen. You were a physical point guard, yeah. right? Yes. Did you guys ever get into it and push and shove in practice? There was some pushing and shoving, yeah. but not not any not of this nature. Yeah. But he no, he's as physically strong as you'll ever find. Like he... When he hits you, you feel it. Okay. So I, I do think he would back it up. So how surprised were you about KD leaving Russ? I wasn't overly surprised, honestly. I, I think that it was not as much about leaving Russ as it was finding KD. You know, I, I think he finally got to a point in his life and in mm -hmm. his career where he was less concerned about what other people mm -hmm. thought about him and more concerned about what he thought about him <laughs> and what's most important to him. And the situation in Golden State, that's what he wanted to do. That's where he felt like he would be most comfortable. And he made the decision, and he wasn't overly concerned with what other people were going to have to say about it. 
Um, and then now he's finding himself back in that situation again where everybody's kind of anticipating at the end of this season, you know, what move is he going to make? Uh, and because he has now practiced and done it, uh, I feel it's like easier. He, yeah, he okay, can just, make a decision. Real quick, because we got to go. Gut feeling he winds up where next year, KD? Oh, my gosh. Just gut feeling. What's your, at this moment in time, you would think? I would say New York. Really? Okay. okay. If On I'm just note. like All right. totally guessing. There you go. Well, you know New York, We'll too. have to see. Yeah. Derek, thanks for All being right. here. Thank you Good for to see me. you. Good luck with everything Thank you've you. got going. All right, the GOAT. Michael Jordan, he oh, showed off some dance moves over go. the weekend. Yeah. I loved it. Uh, we will show you next. Yeah.